I took a friend to visit one of my favourite lyrebirds in the Dandenong Ranges. Once we were there, this particular lyrebird did its all singing, all dancing performance. And the result of the visit was a request for a commission for a painting of a lyrebird. As with all my major paintings, it begins with my own reference photos and experiences. This can be a range of reference, the background, foreground, close-ups of the particular species, and then I set about combining all those elements into what I believe is going to be a pleasing painting. Once I have a concept, I then begin the processing of combining the images, and that can include the lighting, as well as all those other reference photos. And I quite happily use Photoshop, sketches, parts of the painting that I've already completed, and then I'll layer them in Photoshop and move them around until I have what I believe is going to work. Once I've decided on the layout, I then draw up the entire painting and then transfer that image onto the canvas. I apply the paint in layers using a glazing medium. I start with an underlying tone, developing texture as I go. These layers are not intended to be painted as they will finally appear. It's a gradual process, adding just a little bit at a time. In this area, I'm working in some of the foliage, some of it I use a more traditional painting technique. These are the background layers for the lyrebird. At one point during this procedure, I didn't like the way I'd paint a particular part. I painted over it with white, then I repainted that area again in a way that I was happy with it. The more developed the section of the painting is, the less time I spend referring to the reference photos. It's now time to bring together all the tones and depth and shadow features and focus of the painting. And that means that you need to be concentrating on the painting as a whole rather than some small piece of detail. It's now time to decide when the painting is finished. The process that I use is that, first of all, I try to, instead of looking at the painting as a whole, I scan across the painting section by section, looking for things that stand out that shouldn't, or things that should stand out that don't. Once I've resolved all of those things, I now spend some time standing back from the work, looking at it from different angles, walking around it, from different distances, assessing it for the various tones and whether or not it needs to be moved in one direction or another. Sometimes I put a, a layer of a single colour over a section of the paint that somehow enhances that. When I start to struggle to find things that I feel need to be edited or the things that I'm editing make very little difference to the overall appearance of the picture. That's when I'm finished.